this book here, Grain Brain, by the neuroscientist David Perlmutter, MD, The Surprising Truth About Wheats, Carbs, and Sugar, Your Brain's Silent Killers. He's been on Dr. Oz, but when you were, when you were in the hospital and then in the nursing home, I found these books and I brought them to you and you actually read from them because you're good at reading, but you didn't know what you were reading. Now, this is just me taping. I'm just, this is just me recording. Oh, God. Yeah, that's just me recording. But we had these. And I thought they were really great. Yeah, and we had this book. This is the first book I found when I was visiting Dave Grober in Washington, working with the Office of Naval Research. Wheat Belly. Lose the, the wheat. wheat. Lose the weight. Find your path back to health. Yeah. I think you're finding it. Did you know that eating two slices of whole wheat bread may increase blood sugar more than two tablespoons of pure sugar can? Oh my God. Until now. Yeah. And then this is the book that showed that dementia was caused primarily or exacerbated by grains, by wheat and corn and rice and sugar and other high glycemic index foods. And that's when we completely purged the entire kitchen. And we decided that if we wanted to have muffins, like these delicious muffins that you like every day, that you could have as many as you wanted because they're made from almond flour not from grains. There's no wheat or corn or rice or sugar yeah. in these. So you can eat as much muffin as you want. And that's why you've lost all that weight. You're not, it, we didn't stop you from eating. You didn't go on a diet. Tasia makes you a great breakfast every day, bacon, eggs, all the stuff people used to think caused cholesterol because you used to be on statins and cholesterol medicine. You're eating it every day. Oh, eggs, God. eggs, eggs, bacon, bacon, bacon with lots of fat. You're eating muffins and cookies, but they're all made from almond flour and they're made from uh, from cashew flour and made from, from nuts, from tree nuts. That's the paleo diet. And that's... Coconut oil. Right? Lots of coconut oil. Where and is that? The coconut oil is a little fruit. As little fruit as we can because the fruit has high glycemia. There's cashew butter, coconut... There's coconut there, coconut manna, um, there's coconut oil. So when you need, when you want fat, when you think you're craving sugar, instead you take a teaspoon or a tablespoon and you can dip it into the fat. And you can have lots of butter. I can't even open it. There it is. So if you, yeah, I mean, it helps if you have a spoon, but you can, because that tastes good, right? Yeah. So sometimes when you think you're hungry, what you're really after is you're after fat. And fat is fine. Fat's not going to hurt you unless you have sugar. You want to stay away from the sugar. So you want limited amount of fruit. Like a few raspberries there is fine. Yeah. And occasionally having some fresh fruit is okay, but you don't want to ever drink fruit juice because that's just pure sugar going in you. And you can eat these uh, all gluten-free, wheat-free, gluten-free, and yeah, that's, that's the, uh, yeah. And then what we do, uh, you know, you're still giving you chocolate. I don't know if you knew that, but we give you a lot of chocolate. We give you unsweetened baker's chocolate, and then we sweeten that for your taste buds with something called stevia extract. Is that true? Yeah, which has no calories. It's got no effect on your blood sugar. And that's how we make you, sh we make you, and we put, we put sunflower seeds in the chocolate, and we put, um, we're able to put nuts, various I nuts. This is going to be bitter. This has no stevia on it. Yeah. But if you want it, go ahead. <laughs> it's not going to hurt you. It's actually good for your brain because it's, it's got theobromine in it, I guess. But it's, your teeth may not be able to handle it. We usually add some coconut butter to it. Do you like it? Oh. Yeah, it's not sweet. There's no, there's no sweetness. But we have all these cookbooks. If you ever want to know, you can look through these. Like, here's Dad. Here's the Chocolate Lover's Cookbook. The Paleo Chocolate Lover's mm. Cookbook. And we make whoa, chocolate swirl cheese Danish cake and cherry oh chocolate God. roulade. There's all these whipped coconut cream and... Almond chocolate stuffed bacon wrapped dates. 
I mean, there's some good recipes. You're always welcome to cook from this. And just tell mom and she'll get the ingredients. Sunflower cups and chocolate-dipped cranberry orange nut bars. There's so many wow. foods. Cherry cordials and homemade white chocolate bar and you name it. Sunflower cup pudding pops. So we got lots of food there. And then we've got... We've got everyday paleo Italian cuisine, no pasta, but different types of pasta substitutes, mushroom antipasto, mushrooms with tomato, minestrone, classic bolognese, baked ziti, but see there's no wheat in it. There's, this is using butternut squash instead of using wheat pasta. Ooh. So there's like there's absolutely nothing that we that we can that, that we don't have you know that we have to give up the family paleo cookbook here everything you'd want scrumptious seafood chowder so the whole idea behind paleo is we can eat as much as we want practical paleo make ahead paleo the wheat